Hello internet, uh, Nixie here. It's been a while since I uploaded and you'll have to pardon the quality of the video today as um, I got fed up with my iPad and I'm currently filming on my cell phone. Um, so I did record a vlog on Tuesday last week um, after a pretty emotional and interesting day with my friend Chantel. We uh, had some paranormal experiences and just like really lovely chats. Um, and I did record another video um, on Wednesday, but uh, I'll get I'll get to that in a little bit. But um, so lots has happened. I'm more, we're still working on doing all the things. There's a lot of things on my list. I'm planning road trips and stuff. Uh, but um, so I got my car. That's a huge, huge step towards doing all of the things. Uh, his name's Damien, and he's lovely, and. It's been a stressful process, go figure, but I got it done and while the process took so long that I didn't actually get to attend North Country Fair, I did drive my ass out to Drift Pile to help with the post-fair duties. I went and helped in the kitchen, so I got to help feed some of the volunteers. and. Um, it was important to me to go for so many reasons, but something that people don't understand is how much work it takes to put on an event, especially something as big as a festival, and that it takes lots of dedicated people to do it. And so if you sign up to do a volunteer shift or shifts and you don't show up, it can be disastrous it can be so terrible and it's so hard to find dedicated volunteers and so this is just me saying like i literally did not get to go to any of the party and i went and i worked and um if i can do that like come on you can do it you can you can enjoy the party and then go help after like seriously a couple extra people helping is so huge for these events but anyways that's like a whole other subject for another day. But um, I'm really grateful that for that experience. Even though I didn't get to go for the music or the party, I did get to go and meet the alumni and to spend some time on the land with people that really care about the land and really care about um, the way things grow out there. And I got to hear all sorts of stories and every single person I talked to had a different tidbit that I would have had no idea if I hadn't met these people, if I hadn't gone and spent that time with them. I got to go ride a quad up the hill on this crazy trail to go see the tree nursery that they bought. And I got to go wander into an area where I may not have gone by myself with a new friend. And we like biked and then hiked and then swam in the river in this like great little spot and played with rocks and I saved a butterfly and, and then we hiked and then biked. And then I flopped in the grass and then went back to work in the kitchen. Um, and we made so many pies that day. It was great. Um, I got to learn so much. And it was beautiful. I'm so incredibly grateful for that opportunity. Um, ki the kitchen, by the way, is a great place to work. Because you work, you work hard, but you're not out in the sun. And, like, everybody loves you because you're feeding them. Like, honestly, if you're looking for a place to start when you're volunteering kitchens find kitchens so um another perk to having been out there was that uh the north country fair grounds are where um astral harvest has their festival so i went to astral harvest two years ago and it was not a positive experience for me in the least bit um i was in a very unhealthy relationship and we fought the whole time and it was just it was just it was bad it was really negative and i've had flashbacks to that time and just like it was really not fun and I told myself I would never go again but Mikey has since passed and like it's changed everything in my life like it's legitimately crazy and I'm still having a really hard time coping with that and um so by getting to go out to the property I got to like spend some time there to kind of process and um you know I kind of like went and like walked past where we camped and kind of got to like acknowledge the space as I went to say hello to the river. I burnt my fingers really bad. I was cutting a pepper. I had no idea. Like I wasn't expecting there to be like a pepper so hot that it would actually burn 
your skin um, to be in a kitchen where like they're cooking for volunteers is like not anything I'd anticipated. And I burnt my fingers so bad. They hurt for like two hours before I finally was like, I need to take a break because I'm going to lose my shit. And I went down and I literally, I was going to go stick my hands in the river and like just spend a minute. But I was just like, I didn't even have the time. And I literally went, I walked past the campsite and like acknowledged it. I was like, okay. And I went to the river and I just like, I literally just said, hi, like, hello river good to see you I've missed you and I started walking back to the kitchen and my fingers stopped hurting it was like it's wonderful thank you river um but um I didn't really I thought I was probably gonna go sit and like meditate in that campsite and I didn't wind up doing that because there were still people kind of camped around there but um what I did do instead was I went to the Waka Chan stage which is the stage that Mikey worked for as a VJ and I went and I sat in the lighting booth, which is like the like most of my memories of him from that festival were from at that spot. Like we didn't spend time together in camp or out on the dance floor or anything. It was like I would stop by, see him at the lighting booth, give him a water bottle and a granola bar, and then leave. Um, that was basically it. That's where we were at. And uh, so I went and I sat there and I like kind of checked out his graffiti and took a video of me talking and crying and just trying to heal somehow but I don't really know how to grieve um that's something I'm learning you know like uh, especially with such a complicated relationship as that one was like it's it's difficult because I still have a lot of feelings of shame and hurt and anger but there's still that confusion with the love and and the missing and the grief and it's just it's difficult and it's been six months and I still get the odd like hey I'm sorry to hear about your ex but um I mean I'm still dealing with it daily and I wish I was better and I'm not yet so I don't know I don't know how to I don't know how to heal um so that video was like 15 minutes of me crying basically about how I'm scared and I don't know why I'm scared or how to fix it uh, I had had the notion that maybe some sort of magic would happen you know meet with Mikey spirit or have a dream where I could speak to him or something that I would walk away feeling better and prepared for astral harvest but the honest truth is that I'm still very nervous and I spent a decent chunk of my time out there really wondering if going is the right thing to do and if, you know, again, for the millionth time, do I belong at festivals? Is festival culture really what I want in my life? Is that what I want to do? Is that really what I'm pursuing with my life? Like, what am I doing? I feel so uncomfortable sometimes in these situations. And Is it right? Am I right? But I just, I can't argue with my instincts and instincts tell me that Astral Harvest is where I need to be. Um, and who knows, maybe despite all my nervousness and my fear of returning, maybe that, that maybe that's exactly what I need in order to heal. So, but I guess only time will tell and it's only a week away. Be on the road in less than a week. A week from today I will be at Astral Harvest. Hopefully dancing in exactly, in exactly a week this time next Friday. I want to be dancing. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, and, um, I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Life is crazy, life is awesome. I'm planning a road trip. I am trying to figure out whether or not Oshiga Festival is going to be my destination, or the, the States. Um, really love this band, and I really want to go see them live, and when I saw that they were playing Oshiga, I looked at the lineup and was like, oh my god, I have to go to this festival. So. I'm going to try and go to this festival, and um, I'm going to make it happen, and hopefully a, fe a road trip also to see them. Maybe Vancouver, if I can find tickets, um, or maybe their hometown, maybe? Columbus, Ohio? Well, it'd be kind of cool to see them play their hometown, actually. So we'll see what happens, but I'm going to wrap this up because it's late. Thank you for watching, and look forward to bringing you stories of Astral Harvest.